This is where we're like a Texas offense versus Alabama's defense. But we'll take a quick look at it and see some of the plays that I thought were kind of interesting and some big plays in the game. Right here on this look was a play that had a lot of different people commenting about and seeing kind of what they were doing on this play. And we'll look at it as well. They had everybody kind of jumbled up here, then they scramble out, and they basically end up in a three-back set. It was really popular a few years back from Dana Holgerson and those guys. They were kind of the first ones that I remember doing it. But right here, basically running inside zone that direction. You got a post. You got a wheel here from this running back. He goes to the flat, so you get a flat over there with the inside zone action right here. And with that little bit of movement there and the shift pre-snap, these guys got really basic right here. So this is just straight 4-3 box. These guys are pretty tight. Too high safety. They're a little bit confused right here. And you see as it's played, if you're looking at it as a linebacker spot, this looks like a straight inside zone here with these guys getting out. This safety sees a single receiver going straight vertical right there on the post. So he's backing up as well. As you look at it, fake. There's Ewers right there. You've got one guy running a wheel. He's into the flats with nobody there. So two on zero out there. Just flip it to your guy. Now they're rolling right there. Get a pretty explosive play there early in the first quarter against Alabama. This right here is basically the same play, just kind of a little bit of different formation. I think this guy came in motion here so that he could go to the wheel. Here's the guy coming across to the flat. There's the post right there, faking inside zone. So as far as the setup was a little bit different, and obviously what Alabama did right here was a little bit different as well. You can see him rolling to a one high look, getting a blitz here off the weak side. And they actually have the linebacker, they have the DN come free because this linebacker was coming off the edge. Tackle set to him and they weren't able to communicate that. Now here comes Will Anderson, full speed right there at your quarterback. Backside DN as well, just like on the last play, is free. So he sits and then he's going right there. So you got Will Anderson, you got another DN right there, converging. There's the wheel and since he's a one high look, that guy was able to sit out of the box a little bit more in that forefront. He's able to widen out on that wheel and now this guy right here, is in no man's land because he's kind of playing two for one and by the time that he could even get it to him he's getting smoked right there by will anderson so you can see the first time they ran this concept a lot of people were really jacked up about it because it basically my thought process on it was it stayed too high and it's a four three box and those guys were squeezing in on the run and will take two for one on the post so now there was nobody left uh, right here they rolled to a one high did a good job of kind of zoning that thing off bringing a little bit of pressure there as well Speeding the quarterback up, getting him on the ground right there. And this is a third and three with 135. If, if Texas is able to get this first down and then kick a field goal, that's ball game. And right here, they sack him, take him to a deeper field goal range. They still hit it, but right there, if they would have got that first down, that's probably ball game. Texas probably wins. There's a concept here that Texas is using that Alabama ran when Sarkeesian was there. Stack the receivers, faking a bubble right there, which they'll obviously do that, flip it out there, block outside shoulder. Right here he stutters like he's blocking outside shoulder and he slants into that space. They actually run an inside zone right here. I'm not sure exactly what he's reading. Maybe he's just reading this space right here, reading that safety see if he rolls down. But we'll take a look at it and see. So right there, if you're looking at he's downhill, looks like the quarterback's eyes to me are kind of on that corner, possibly on that outside linebacker right there, that safety that's rolled down to make sure that nobody kind of sits into that space. With nobody in that space, he pulls it. There's the bubble. Now they know they're two on one with one guy low. And you see that's a lot of space right there. Not the most accurate ball. Receiver gets down and makes a play for him right there for a big completion early in the game. They're still in the first quarter with Ewers in there. He's able to make a play for him right there, get close to the first down. Come back to the same concept later in the game. It's not third quarter. Obviously, has a cards in there. You got the bubble. Stutter's working outside like he's going to block that outside shoulder for the bubble and he slants in there We'll see if we can tell what's going on right there again split zone inside zone Looks almost like the quarterback's eyes are more towards the middle of the field right here Pulls it steps back getting a little bit of pressure in his face And even with that pressure in her face has a better ball than yours head right there puts it on his body Still not able to make the play right here good throw under pressure great play right there by 14 getting in there knocking it down though uh, but you can see what they're looking for. If there's nobody left in that space, pull it, flip it out there, see what can happen. Obviously, you'd hope that that tight end gets a block on that defensive end, slows him down a little bit more than he does right there, so your quarterback's not getting hit. Fourth quarter right here in a three-back set, and a really interesting way to get to mesh right here. So Sarkeesian obviously loves running the mesh, getting to it a lot of different ways. And if you're looking at it, three-back set, the guys that mesh here is actually the running back and the fullback meshing right there. This back right here goes Will. He's going basic, and right here it looks like he's running some kind of an outside release, force outside release go right there. So if you're going through Sarkeesian's rules, probably one on the wheel, two to the mesh, three to the basic, or the pyramid right there in the middle of the field. 
to allow that stuff to work. But right here, we'll see what happens when there's played. Ball snapped. Free release right there. Quarterback's eyes. Looks like he glances that direction to see if that running back pops open. Doesn't like it. You got these guys out leveraged. So now sliding down, trying to find this mesh. A lot of space there for the running back. We'll roll it back so we can see how that running back releases. Obviously, you got a lot of trash you're going to have to get, out, get through right here to get to that mesh. There's a good job of just finding space, getting to the line of scrimmage, getting across right there. Now he's a viable option right there going, just like if he had come from that receiver spot with a lot of space. When he goes across, these guys are trying to wall, keep him from being just a free completion there for him. Backing up, he sees this basic coming, he backs up right there. So now, ton of space after they take two for one with that backer in that corner for that mesh to replace him right there. Again, really interesting concept, three back set, get into that mesh. Easy completion there to the running back. Again, getting the ball to one of your best guys in space, seeing what happens. Here's a play right here where Texas, I think they're trying to catch him in man-to-man. -man. Now that ends up zoning it off. So the running back comes all the way over here. He ends up meshing, and he sees the man that's chasing him right there as far as the guy that probably manned up on him. Tries to get a piece of him. It doesn't really block him, but you can see that he's trying to show like he's running a route. So right there he sees him. He puts the brakes on. He tries to get in his way. He spins like he's trying to run the route. Now, if you just block that guy since you're catching this ball at the line of scrimmage, that would be totally fine. Obviously, you can't blindside block all that stuff. These guys right here, it looks like they're trying to either get, run a post or run a basic somehow. I'm trying to get these guys hopefully to run off is probably what I'd be hoping that to get that corner to chase right there with man-to-man. -man. There's another mesh coming across right there just in case maybe this back is taken. That might be the next option right there. But right here, Alabama's actually playing zone, especially here with this corner. You can see that he's widening out so he can continue to see everything. With that bunched formation, I think that allowed him to kind of zone that stuff off, get outside leverage, see what's coming to him. And right there he sees that back get out. He waits, he plays back just a little bit. Once he sees that ball released, now he fires up, makes a really good open field tackle right here. Able to keep him from getting the first down, get into the end zone right there. So big play there by the corner, getting him on the ground. I don't think uh, the middle linebacker is going to be able to get there. So corner does a great job getting a piece of him, getting him on the ground right there, stopping him short. He was playing in motion here from Sark in Texas. They actually motion him back, and he's running across right there. So this is the guy they really want to get the ball to, one of their better players. Extremely fast, so they want to get that ball to him as many ways as they can. For Alabama, if you're looking at him man-to-man, -man, and then obviously with this motion, if he's going to come around all the way over there, obviously man-to-man, -man, safety doesn't roll down, do anything. He's tight. So right there, nobody gets out to the alley. He's behind. He's already past the quarterback. He's not even to the hash. So right there, he's obviously behind. So running basically outside zone, mid zone, that direction. Just flipped out there to your guy. And right here you can see a completion. His back's turned. You've got basically a half of a field with number one right there trying to run you down. Easy completion. These guys are doing a good job running to the football, but still they're just out leveraged on that one. Gets about five, six, gets out of bounds right there. So a good way just to make those guys actually honor this motion is here on the hook. Texas is able to catch Alabama. Roll into one high look. They actually roll right here. Back that guy up, he's playing the flats now, so right here they run a post. This running back actually runs basically a corner or a go out here to the outside third. Once he goes post, it's gonna take this corner. And once he takes that corner, the only guy left is this defensive end, which is obviously not a great matchup against a running back right there. So, without blitzing anybody right here, they're rolling down to a cover three. On this side, they're having a bit of a drive concept. You're going under, you've got the dig right there, and then he's got a square in. LSU ran this a ton the year they won a championship. Takes his corner off right here. Now the running back releases. See quarterback catches it. His eyes go over there, sees the roll. I'm not too worried about this route concept over here on the back side. They got too many guys that direction. We feel good about our numbers and our matchups over here. So he sets his feet, steps through the throw. There's the DN that was trying to cover the running back. Obviously not a great matchup. Big completion right there on first and 15. Creating explosive plays right there. Right before halftime, gives him a chance for that field goal. I know they ended up missing it. But he gave him a chance to get some points on the board right here with his big completion to kind of start that two-minute drill. A really good scheme here to get a rub here to get a first down. On a third and two in the first quarter, you can see a little bit of motion here getting a two-by-two. Two. Seeing that this guy is pressed, eyeballing this guy right here, basically man-to-man -man there. So the inside release this, going to the corner. They sprint out that direction. Once he gets here, he tempos it, goes out right there, just past the sticks. Boom, ball snapped. Trying to make sure that they seal it right there. He's going to go five yards out. He's inside releasing, trying to get that rub. Go right at his face mask, make him go over the top. There's the out route. All he does is make sure I go behind that guy. One, two, three, boom, foot, puts my foot in the ground. Going flat. You were just ready to flip the ball out there to him. 
accurate ball right there. Good completion. Kind of puts it on his body right there. Helps him protect himself. So he doesn't have to reach away from his body. Catches it. Good tackle here. But right there, just past his sticks. That little bit of a rub. Able to get an easy first down right there for Texas. Here's a pretty good shot play here from Texas. Motion your guy in. Get kind of close to a stack. And a lot of times they'll run these crossers right here. Maybe double post, all that stuff. Where they go post, corner. They fake the run here. Everybody slides that direction. Backside guard pulls, seals backside. He's chipping before he goes to the flat right there. So post corner to get a smash over there to that side. That guy dragging or maybe a deep post right there over the top as well. So again, motion in, getting close to the stack. A little bit of fake trying to get those linebackers to step up. Here's that guard that pulls around. Everybody else is basically sliding that direction. But the guard pulls around right here, helping seal right there on the defensive end. Chip, go to the flats. Right there, he's sealing. As you can see, he's releasing right here. He looks like he's going across the field. Post, corner. And he sticks his foot in the ground and goes to the corner. And right here, this is kind of the reason why I think yours is the guy there at Texas. You can see how effortlessly this ball gets out. He's just standing tall, just kind of flips his wrist. And that thing is spinning. Hits him right in the chest right there. Gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. There's the guy stretching the flat, trying to keep that guy a little bit low. But right there with that arm strength, that accuracy, you can see why Ewers was the pick there, even though Hudson Carr played really well this game. That's a pretty elite throw. I know this is not an easy throw. Makes it look pretty effortless right there. Flips it to him. Really accurate ball right there before that before he gets out of bounds. Really thought this was an interesting play. Right here, you're in a bunch with a tight end over here to the weak side. You got the widest guy in the bunch coming, basically trying to fake jet sweep and then actually toss it to the second guy right there and making it look like outside zone away from it. So Snaps it before he even gets to the quarterback. Now he's leading, and then you flip it down to that guy while he's coming across. So pretty interesting how they got the ball to him. And then also, a lot of times the defense, I guess, sees that first motion guy, and then they see that he doesn't get the ball. Maybe they lose sight of him. He's arcing out there. Again, outside zone, trying to get these guys to, to squeeze down. Just give it to your speed guy. Let him get on the edge right there and see what happens. You see he's going to outrun this defensive end. They don't even touch him. He's out there on the corner. He's blocking the alley right there, the guy that had the motion. And they just knew, hey, he's going to outrun anything in the box, stretch that thing wide. And they have a face mask right there that doesn't get called. Uh, but stretches it wide, gives a pretty decent gain. Really interesting way to get that ball on the edge right there to, to your speed guy. Pretty interesting mesh as well. Flip while you get that mesh. And that quarterback slides with them, really faking that way as that guy is extremely fast to outrun this defense and get the edge right there. Should have been a face mask there as well, but didn't get the call.